Hi there, my name is Sandy Allnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm gonna bring you a lottery scratch off birthday card that is hilarious. If you're a woman of my age or a man of my age, you will love this card because it's so funny. It's got this lottery grid that you can do this scratch off thing with, and I'll show you how the scratch off works later, but this is what you do. You put these little stickers over top of it, and oh my gosh, you can make all kinds of fun scratch off cards now with these. I'm gonna tape my card base down. This is gonna be a one layer card. So I'm using the 110 Mina, the heavy weight Mina cardstock, and I am using some distress ink on it. Now, I'm not doing a good job with my distress ink. I'm pretty terrible at applying this in an even fashion, but for this card, it actually isn't going to matter. You just wanna put down a, a coat of a light color first. Not a really heavy coat, not a ton, because you want something to be able to stick to it. So you don't want it to be like kind of soppy wet but you want to have some kind of color on there so that, I don't know, so that your little stickers have a background. And then I took a post-it note that I trimmed down to two and a half inches. Now, my post-it note wasn't sticky enough to stick to Distress Ink. If you know your Distress Ink, it gets a little slick on the surface, so I just used a little tape runner to adhere it down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be permanent or anything. And then I marked the center, one and a quarter inches, since this is a trimmed down two and a half inch post-it note. Just most of them come at three inches and your box would be a little bit bigger if you use that. So I made a crisscross, horizontal and vertical, and then I decided to just do the other ones with like kind of by eye. Think of making a pizza pie. Just cut it in rough pizza pie shapes. And then I marked for myself which ones I'm going to ink because I wanna make sure I do every other one. And I don't wanna mess that up by, <laughs> by picking the wrong little, um, little shape. I'm using more of the two inch post-it tape to very simply ink or mask off those areas so I can ink extra color, another layer of color inside those because I'm gonna make a starburst. I looked online to see what lottery tickets looked like because I wanted this to feel like a lottery ticket, like you could actually be winning something. And here you can peek underneath and see if you have gotten your inking done well enough. But I wanted to do a starburst, so this is the easiest way I found to do a quick starburst. And even though I'm speeding it up here so we don't have to sit and watch me ink all day, it was really very easy to do and very quick. So this is one of those things that, you know, the whole card didn't take very long at all to make, but it's pretty intricate and it's got a front to it. This is actually going to be the inside, but I decided I was going to make this the inside later. First this was going to be the front, but I came up with a great idea. So I'll show you in a few minutes the stamp that I'm gonna put on the front of the card. And this is a great one for non-colorists as well. So people who don't like to color, this will be a fun one for you because you can use an image stamp with this as well without having to color. So I'm gonna add a little bit more ink in each one of those lighter starburst areas, but more around the center, right around that post-it note because that's gonna give that post-it note square a little bit more of an offset. You're going to be able to see it better because otherwise it would just blend into those lighter ones. So here I'm peeking just to make sure I've got it right before I take that off. If I'm going to do any more inking, I want to do it before I peel that thing off. So now this is basically ready for my stamping. I wanted to make sure I got everything right. So I went to my Misty because if I stamp things by hand after I've done this work on the background, I was like going to be mad at myself if I screwed up. So here I can take my Misty, which is a stamping tool. It's got this plastic lid on it if you haven't seen it and I, I did it first on top of a, I put a little piece of acetate in there just so I could get it line up and test it first so that's one of the things that I generally do I want to stamp on the acetate and then check to make sure it's right before I stamp on my card and that just saves me a lot of headache so I've got that one all lined up and I stamped it onto the card in black and then I wanted to add some words in red so I did a second one with that, I got them all lined up, used my acetate to practice with, and then stamped the the red words. And now I wanted to add the stuff in this, the little circles. Now I could have used the Misty for this, but I realized it was really not a big deal. They're just going to scratch these off, so it's not like anybody's going to go, oh my gosh, they're crooked, because you're not going to see them on the card until they're scratched off, and then it'll be a scratched off mess. So. I just did these by hand and eyeballed them and they're not all straight, but that's okay. I did a couple of them with two, so I duplicated a few of them just so when the person scratches it off, they might get excited that they could actually win because the directions say 
you could win if you scratch off three matching ones. So I thought if I even put two in there, then they would think that they might they might win some dentures. Like, look at the words on there. They're hilarious. So just to make sure that this all worked correctly and that the stickers stuck to it, I took a piece of scratch paper and I stamped a bunch of things on it and used the same ink that I used just to make sure that my, my little stickers were going to stick. So these are the scratch off stickers. They're a little bit bigger than I needed for these circles. So all I had to do was punch them out and then peel the backing off so I could stick them on. So these, you can use these scratch offs with all different kinds of things. They also come in longer strips. So you could do them over a sentiment in a, in a different kind of a way on a card. So I'll link you to a bunch of different kinds that they have. When I saw these at CHA in January, I was so excited because I thought these would make really great interactive cards. So this could be the front or the back of your card. This could be either one. I decided it should be the inside because I was looking through my stamp collection to find out what other thing I wanted to put with this. And I found this birthday fairy. She's new also from Art Impressions. And I uh, put a little penny on a power tab from, uh, this is from Tombow. And it's really sticky. So it'll hold the penny on there. So on the front of the card, the person who gets this is going to be like, why is there a fa fairy giving me a penny? I don't understand. And then when they open the inside, they'll go, oh, so I can scratch off my, my game thing. So I made a little mask for her and I just wanted to put some of the yellow color on there to match the inside. And you could also flip this the other way. She could just be holding the penny on the inside and the lottery card could be on the outside. So I think it works either way. I love it when a card surprises me, when I can't even figure out which one is the front and which one is the back. I texted a friend and she agreed that the fairy is probably a good front for this. My sister might be the one to get this card if I have the nerve to send it to her because I think if she gets something that has ad adult diapers on it, I'm not sure how she'll react, <laughs> if she'll kill me or not. But anyway, there's a couple other videos if you'd like to see those. There's a subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber. You can click for more on the blog and there's supplies listed in the description down below as well as over on my blog. And that's about it for today. Have a great day. Go make somebody laugh. Go make a funny card and then make sure you send it to somebody, okay? Take care now. Bye-bye.